Hey guys, it's the Chad, your C10 truck nerd. Well, if you remember a while back, I went through to my first auction and picked up a 1969 Chevy C10 rolling chassis, along with a 68 cab and all sorts of other junk. Well, it's been a few weeks and the auction house called and they want me to come collect all my items because they've got another auction coming up. Well, I do have a small trailer I can put the cab on, but my buddies that were supposed to help me out with the car trailer, they're out of town and not quite sure what I'm gonna do yet. We just had a rainstorm push through, the sun's supposed to peek out and get really muggy, so this should be a great day. We're really bad. We'll see. Well, we're back again to clean up the mess that I started. Awesome. Let's see if it's still here even. Dang it, it is. Now what do we do? Well, we got the cab on the trailer pretty easy because they know what the heck they're doing with that forklift. And the downfall is I don't have a car trailer and all my buddies either don't like me or they're just tied up this weekend and I don't have any way to get this thing home. So I offered these guys a few bucks to deliver it to me. It's only about five miles and they agreed. So thank you very much for doing this because I was gonna be in trouble. I guess I could have just uh, put the draw bar down and strap the wheels and hope for the best, but I'm kind of a little nervous to uh, what would be flying all over the interstate on the way home. It's not too good. Well, I've got her on the trailer and no straps. That should be just fine. I don't think any of this crud's gonna fall out, but if it does, oh well. Let's get her home. Okay, so maybe I'm starting to understand why the neighbors in the city, they don't like me. Cause I just don't have C10s anymore. It's like a C10 train and a GMC. Uh, yeah. So I'm not gonna lie. I might've been a little quick to judge this old 68 cab. Looking at it, it is in really pretty decent shape. There's no rust through on the air buckets, the firewall. The roof line is good. The rockers are good. The underside and supports are really good. And the floors. I mean, it's it's got issues on the cab corners on both sides, but that's a pretty common thing that you gotta do with these trucks anyway. So this is gonna make somebody a pretty good starter. I think the next thing we need to do is uh, pull off the old draw bar. Maybe I can get uh, tens of dollars for that. I'm gonna go through and rip the wood out of here and. Kind of see what's going on underneath of it. But this bed is really decent. I mean, there is just no rust. These fenders are excellent on both sides. A great tailgate. I don't know, I might have found something pretty good for you guys that uh, like steppers. Well, look what I just uh, stirred up. Yeah, there's about five bazillion ants crawling all over me now, so that's uh, bad. So maybe we'll just uh, light that on fire or something cool.
gotta hide from the neighbors so they don't always stop. They always wanna stop when I bring new stuff home and it's not good for me. All right, boys and girls, it's time for a little C10 trivia. Earlier in the video, I told you this cab came off of a 1968 Chevy C10, but how are you supposed to know? Well, the first thing you can do is just look here at the VIN and it'll tell you if it's one of those Chevrolets or a Get More Chicks model and also what year it is. But let's say you don't have a VIN plate on the cab. How are you supposed to know which year of the six that it came off of? Well, you guys think about it for a few minutes and I'll come back and tell you my answers. So I've got a lot of things cleared out and check out this big pile of tetanus. Now most of this is uh, what I pulled out of the bed at the auction house and some out of the cab. I'm gonna try to run it over to the scrapyard and see if we can't get twos of dollars out of this, but I mean, really it's looking fancy around here. Nope, it still looks like a salvage yard, but maybe the wife won't even notice that we stuck these two home. Yeah, she notices everything. So I've got the back of the truck all loaded up with all that scrap metal and we're going to head over to the recycler to see what we can get out of it. Somebody said it's going for like 130 or 140 bucks a ton, so we probably don't even have enough to pay for our gas to get there and back, but at least it's out of the driveway. You know, the less junk in the drive, the less complaints I get, and the better things are for me. So let's shoot over there and see what we can do. Looky here, the truck's already starting to pay itself back. 300 pounds for a whopping $21. I mean, if we do this about 7,000 more times, we're uh, gonna be in the profit. All right, so here's a quick rundown on how I can tell this is a 1968 cab. You can just look on the firewall of most of these trucks to help identify them. Here in 67 and 68, the fuse block came through the firewall more towards the driver's side, and it was completely smooth up here where 69 to 72s had a metal protrusion up front. You can also tell by how the e-brake cable came through the firewall because in 67 and 8, it had a hand e-brake where 69 to 72, it was a foot pedal. Another big indicator to me is it's got a big back window and that was gonna be the 68 models because 67s came standard with a small, but you could option it for a big window or panoramic view. But the big indicator to me is this paint scheme here. The two tones in 1967 would have only been white on the roof where starting in 1968, it came all the way down the A pillars on the drip edge and the top of the doors. So if you guys wanna find all sorts of differences between 67 to 72, I've got a lot of videos about the cabs, the fenders, the hoods, core supports, hood latches. I can really just kinda of geek you out if you wanna know all that information. So check out those other videos. Well, that's gonna do it for another episode of Chad's an Idiot. Now, I would like to give a big shout out to Haas and Brandon with Auction Pros of Kansas. These were some stand-up dudes that went through and helped me load my cab up onto my trailer with their forklift. And for a few extra bucks, they actually drug this rolling chassis and delivered it right here to my front door. So if you guys are looking for a good auction house out of the central part of Kansas, give them a shout. Now, if you guys haven't, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if any of you guys have the hotline number to C10's Anonymous, you might put it down the old clickety-clack because, uh, well, you know why. Now I'm going to try to clean a little bit and organize before the wife gets home and the neighbors get off work just to try to keep a little bit of the peace, but I don't know that it really matters. Well, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.